to check out. So if we were to go to the video store, we can see new releases um, that are available. Now, new releases may not necessarily be for free. What we want to do is we want to go to the Prime eligible shows and take a look and see what is free there. And I'm signed out of my account. When you're signed in, usually you actually can see all of the stuff that's free. Let's see, free videos. So all of these here are free if you have a Prime account. And you can see there's a lot of free TV shows, free movies, and obviously more than just what's showing right here. When you're actually on your smart TV player, you'll actually be able to cycle through those. And you can do a search to find out what you want. So that's your instant video. And then let's go back and let's just look. And you can also watch that on your Kindle as well, too. But if you have a Kindle, the lending library is pretty darn good because look at all these books. If you're a Harry Potter fan, for example, these are all free. You can you can borrow these things for free and you know just kind of share them amongst the other. Right now, there's 145,000 titles that are available for you to get on your Kindle for free. So if you had, let's say, that, like we have the Kindle Fire, if you saw this Kindle Lending Owner's Lending Library icon right there and the Prime icon where it says zero, you could borrow it for free. That's how it works. So my friends, my point of this is just we have had Prime now for about a year now, and we really enjoyed it. There's so many benefits to it that $79 a year I think is a small cost to pay, like especially if you order a lot. I just wanted to share that with you, and hopefully this video is helpful for you. So that if you're wondering about trying it, you'll know that it's at least something to try for that 30-day trial for free and see if you like it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.